Hello, I'm Cora Jokinim with Torque Master Industries, the maker of Aussie Locker. Today I'm going to show you how to build a custom heavy duty axle stand. We're going to use the stand at vendor shows and in the shop. So it's got to do double duty. It has to look good and it has to work good. So in the drawing you see the components of what we're going to call the A-frame. It has a large hoop made out of DOM tubing, a square stock base, and all of these cutout components that we used our CNC for. So these parts here are what we call the strap. And the design of the strap, we used our Torque Masters logo. And that is derived from our parts from the Aussie Locker. We have the teeth and the splines. You'll see those here. And the way we're gonna assemble the axle stand, you're gonna see the logo from behind. And it's actually a pretty cool design. You'll see it later. So the first step to any project is the design. So for our concept, we wanted to make it simple and strong and to make it look good. So the first step in construction is welding the A-frame together. So we're gonna start with the DOM tube and the square tube. So we've set the tube up on a little jig to make sure everything's square and level. Now I'm gonna tack it together. Using the manual settings today, my voltage is at 7, my wire speed is at 70. It's a little hot and slow, which is what I like to use if I'm using a couple different types of materials. So I have DOM tubing that's 120 wall, I have square tubing that's a little bit thinner than that, and then I have these quarter inch plates. On my Millermatic 211, I can use either the advanced auto set features or I can tune it manually. When I'm tuning the welder manually, I can reference the chart on the inside of the door it has all the different thicknesses and power speed settings that I would use. For the next step, I'm going to weld the connector piece to the A-frame tower. And this is really an integral part of the structure. So what we're going to do is bolt this A-frame to another A-frame like this. And this is going to provide the rigidity between the two pieces and hold everything square. Next step, I'm going to assemble the axle tube cradle out of two plates and two keys. So I cut some keyways in on the plasma cutter to help align the parts. So I've squared up all the parts and now I can tack them in. I've assembled the axle cradle, but now I need to finish it off and do some plug welds where the keyways are. So what I did was I turned up the voltage, but I kept my wire speed the same so I can get a really flat weld and fill in any cracks and crevices. Then we'll grind it smooth and it'll look like one piece of metal. So up next, I'm going to make the crossbar that connects the two A-frames. And what's pretty cool about this project is we wanted to make it collapsible because in our small shop, we really need to utilize all the square footage we have. So with these two pieces, they slide in and out and you can adjust the A-frames for whatever size axle you're working on. And you can also take them apart because they unbolt like an axle shaft. For this one, I'm gonna weld the outer tube to this flange. So a couple tips when welding tube, you want to try and weld half the tube at once and you have to adjust your hands as you move around. You can't make it the full way around, but if you can make it halfway, then you're doing really good. The crossbar is ready to be installed into the two A-frames and we bolt them together so that we can disassemble it for storage or for when we take it on the road to vendor shows. Up next, I'm gonna attack on the axle cradle. We used a piece of scrap tube to line the two, and I'm also using an angle finder to make sure that both 
are vertical. I see that they are, now I can tack them on. So I'm gonna weld this in now, and it's a little bit out of position, so I'm gonna practice just to see if I can get every angle on this weld from where I'm standing. And I can, so I'm gonna go ahead. To finish up, we bolted on some wheels threw on our Dana 60 to test it out, and we're ready to roll. For more information on Torque Master Industries and our products, Aussie Locker, and new lockers coming out, check out AussieLocker.com. And for more information on the Miller Matic 211 I used today, check out MillerWelds.com.